Hello everyone and welcome to what might very well be my best work yet. You were about to behold some beams that'll leave you beaming for they are incredible. Nay! <laughs> Glorious. Me and the Beamologists, ever since we last did the Beam episode, have wanted to do more. You guys have wanted more, but there wasn't really more to do until custom settings and a few little ideas I've had. So, without further ado, I bring you Maximum Beam. I have three to show you, broken down into four categories, so feel free to skip around. But for now, the discovery of the Infinite Circle. It just looks like they're having a really fast sword duel. You see? Yeah. Oh, they got... St they when you're up like this and you can actually see the shurikens. Yeah. Oh, that looks so... C it looks like, right? It looks like they're having the world's most extreme game of Beyblade. <laughs> like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, each one of them's just spinning around and going for it. Just keep putting shurikens in. Okay, okay, we need to make- we need to make a diamond shape with all the Genji's facing in. Okay. <laughs> what?! <laughs> what?! I tried to pull you down. I tried oh. to pull you up, but you went down. Whoa, when I charge you, your face goes in my screen. No. Go Stop! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> this is the what ultimate is deny heart combo. <laughs> Whoa. If we actually get it in there, it's amazing. What the fuck? What is with the blood? It's because it's hitting like everyone on the team. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did Josh, we just found that? maximum blood. We found maximum blood, we did it. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at it! It did like a saw! Did you see what? Was that not something to behold? I mean, I guess technically it, the answer is is yes, because everything is something to behold, because it's just, you know, looking at something irrelevant of its quality, so kind of a redundant sentence, as was this explanation, but it's a lot of effort moving the mouse to press the stop recording and delete button, so this is going in the video now. Okay, I seriously get chills watching that back, whether it's because I'm just proud of my work or because it's actually good, I don't know. It's quite a cool phenomenon, the phenomena, fen weird thing that's happening. Every Genji is getting a deflect and being hit by a single fire strike entering the circle. 
Which is weird, because you would expect it to just deflect one to the other round the circle as it normally works. But because it's moving so fast, especially with high projectile speed, we end up in a situation where the server has no idea where the fire strike is. That's why you're getting blood pockets exploding out of the air, nowhere near the Genjis, which would be really alarming in real life. And what I think is happening is the server reads that two Genjis get a deflect, but from only one fire strike, so surely that means there is actually two fire strikes and it actually clones it and keeps sending it round the circle and that's what causes the saw blade effect so that's pretty damn awesome isn't it i mean i could be really off base here i honestly don't know it's very hard to tell i'd love to see your guys's theory on how this effect is created all i know is it's freaking beautiful all right deflect up <laughs> Look at that! It's like repeated flashbangs going off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a real close-up. It's like Christmas. Is that not awesome? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> if ever there was something to sandstorm, I think we're looking Try, at it. Try get, get more in. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Fire. All right, stop. <laughs> Wait. Look at what the fucking actually... saw blade! That's amazing! You're like pff, everywhere. Yep. I mean, it's not beatboxing explosions. It's not detonating the charge. And each one explodes. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, actually, now that I think about it. Rapping demolition men. <laughs> Yo, I hear you got a. I'm not gonna do it. I can't rap. It's so bad. It's so yeah, it's really, truly yeah. sad. I was gonna say, yo, I hear you have a building to destroy, and I got as far as yo here before I got too self-conscious. Like, look, it's like just covering his face in white fire when I fire the healing dart. That's not normal, right? That's so weird. That's not normal. <laughs> look at that! What the fuck? <laughs> well, he's That's great! It's fucking like Russian roulette! Alright, look, who's gonna get slept? Oh, it's that guy! <laughs> That's amazing! Oh! Oh! Okay. Always the same guy. Oh! 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 It's gone. Oh. Oh. Did someone just aim it? The irony! <laughs> oh. doing it all right three two one go jesus oh <laughs> yes how you managed to fall off i don't know because you you were no, because they, one of them would have landed first and the other one couldn't have landed yeah they were through. hilariously it, off, off time i think it's because of those ptr settings with stacking yeah. so you just bounce off when how good did that look though that was it was special. pretty nice the fucking blade going back up and down. All right, all right. Uh, on go again. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Life and death.
So, there's not really a lot to say about this one, other than it's one I've always wanted to do, but obviously not been able to until the right settings have come along. You have to use Reinhardt because of the piercing. Yes, you can use some Metro, which we did try and it does look fine, but nowhere near Reinhardt's glorious blazing fire strikes. So, it definitely gives the best effect. I mean, it forming into a more blade-like shape with its thinness because of the extra speed from projectile speed is fantastic, but even at the slow, I mean, I feel like I'm trying to critique some artwork here. Hmm, yes, I'm getting a distinct taste of rosewood. Wait, no, I'm not drinking the beam. Although... <laughs> okay, 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 what would the Reinhardt beam taste like? And follow up, would you drink it? These are now the important questions. But yeah, there's really not much to this. It just is a very nice look. Okay, middle Genji's deflect on go. Three. Two, one, go. What? It, it hit the it top people. All right, turn, turn and face the beam. Mercy main. Turn and face the beam, and then. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wait. Why am I doing this? <laughs> all right, all right. Top pair. Let's have you in the air in three, two. Oh, they're, they're disappearing. One, go. <laughs> Okay. What happened with? Wait. Oh, look at all the little lights! Oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. So to end with. Well, we gave ourselves quite the challenge, and that was: can we have a beam that can move? And oh, have a look. This was so difficult to pull off. It took about four hours to successfully achieve to at least a level that looked really well done. One, go. Come on, 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 Do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, we did it. The holy fucking grail of beamology. Oh, that was exile my heart. Oh my all right, heart. Alright, alright. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Dino, you <laughs> fucked it. Dino, what the hell, man? Your timing is shit. Of, why did two of them go twice as high as the other ones? <laughs> I can't get over that we pulled that off and beam all the way up and all the way down. Ah! Because the Genjis have to be really precise with their aiming as they go up and down, a lot of player skill is involved to pull this off. Hell, we have Master's Genjis in the beam to try and make this happen, although admittedly this isn't really a, a common game scenario, let's say. I wish it was, but unfortunately it's not. The cool thing then is because of the projectile speed increase, we can now do this because they go so fast back backwards and forwards, there's much less chance of them escaping the beam. It also makes it a lot glowy. It reduces the density, but increases the particle effect around it, or at least makes it a lot more standout. So you have to go up, aiming just above the other Genji's head, and then as you start to fall, you have to aim just below their knees. And that sounds simple, but when your screen looks like, well, white glory, there's, I love glory. Glory's glory. a good word today. I don't, I don't even care, I like glory. glory. It's a fun Let's say it, it's good. And it's kind of difficult to pull off. All the stars have to align, the timing has to be good, but oh, it was worth it to have an up down beam. I oh, am so happy. Now, the thing is, there's still more things we can pull off, I'm sure, but at the same time, these are definitely my favorites, at least for now.
You will have to let me know how you guys enjoyed all of this, because obviously it's something a little bit different, but I do think it's worth exploring Overwatch in a multitude of ways that isn't just, you know, your normal stuff. Because, I mean, isn't this the perfect example of you can have fun with this game, doing things that are even slightly to do with the normal game? I mean, great. <laughs> Don't often get to use the word smorgasbord. Alright, I'll leave you with some extra fun stuff. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Dandy <laughs> Yeah, that one didn't work as well as the right one, I don't think. Sad, and it's go! Yes. <laughs> that looked pretty cool, wow. Yeah, it, cool, it did. Oh, Alright, guys, that is some sweet, sweet Beamology. Straight Beamology. out of Beam, Beamversity. Um, with Beam Masters, Shreem, Deem, and Reem. Which is a really interesting set of names now that I have. Uh, <laughs> Uh, by our powers yeah. combined, we create the most psychedelic beams in all of the land. Thanks, thanks, backing voice. I, I love it. I love that that's your superpower. Demon <laughs> Mon! What if I do this? How do you back this? I back this by going to a different pitch. What if I go to that pitch? Is there a limit to his power? <laughs> Alright, thanks for <laughs> Thanks so much everyone, like me, join and subscribe for more, we will see you next time! Thanks for helping fellow Beamologists, a good... <laughs> Stop! A good boy...